Hi there, I'm Chris from Backup. Today we're going to have a quick look at manoeuvring in a power chair. Uh, this particular chair is a Trek Kinetic GTE. Uh, it's powered at the front wheels and steers at the rear. Um, now there's various types of power chairs, from front, mid to rear power chairs, um, and they each have their own characteristics. So my advice is to uh, practice in the particular chair that you have uh, to build your confidence. Um, this particular chair I typically use when I can't independently push in my manual chair out and about. Uh, but that being said, I would transfer uh, into my manual chair in the house, so let's get inside. Um, now to start off with, it's fairly straightforward, it's going down a straight hallway. Um, we'll get to the end, there's a slight turn, um, and there's not going to be enough space to turn around. So yeah, got down to the end here. Um, not going to be enough space for me to, to manoeuvre. Um, now that I'm going to do uh, a bit of an obstacle, I'm going to turn the chair down a little bit so I'm not going so fast. Um, when you're out and about, it might have a, an uneven terrain uh, and the, the chair might, you might lose control slightly with your hand on the joystick. In this situation, it's fine. Uh, again, when you're out and about in a public space, there might be people moving around. So when you do start to, to go backwards or do some manoeuvres, just keep aware of your surroundings. Going backwards as well will make the caster on the rear wheel change direction and this will rock the chair slightly. Again, it might mean that you lose control of your hand on the joystick, so just have that in mind. Um, and yeah, going backwards in a hallway, um, as you might be able to see, I've already chewed the walls a little bit, but we're going to try and avoid that today. Uh, going backwards, just having a look over my shoulder. Turn around and we're facing the right way.